Winning the fuel cell stack business here in cooperation with Anderson County was like winning the Super Bowl three times. Because of what the impact is going to have. Exactly. The impact that we'll have to the local workforce, to the development of the site. And I mean, we're, we're talking about the future powertrain. This puts us directly in the path of that e-mobility as we go through this, this development away from the internal combustion engine. This is a future product and we really see that as, as the future of the plant. In layman's terms, I mean, explain what this product will do. A fuel cell stack is much like a battery that doesn't run down and doesn't need to be charged. As long as you're supplying it hydrogen and oxygen, it's creating electricity, and the only byproduct is water. Today we have batteries, and those batteries are gonna fulfill a market maybe where we don't need to do long-term transportation because of the particular range that you have within a battery operated vehicle, which is around 350 miles. A fuel cell allows uh, you to haul your boat to Lake Hartwell, or in the case of what we're talking about, it's more in long range commercial vehicles like a semi truck, and you'll be able to pull that load. The difference is, as opposed to charging the vehicle like you would in a battery, you would pull up to a filling station much as you do today and put in and fill up your hydrogen tank as opposed to gasoline or diesel. This is a big deal. It's a very big deal when you have a $200 million announcement and 350 jobs. This is cutting edge technology and there was a worldwide search for the location to do this and we're very happy that they selected Anderson, South Carolina. This project really wouldn't have been possible without the support that we had from Anderson County. It's not only the local support that, that we have via the local universities, the local technical colleges, is to be able to have the competencies and the workforce that we need. The discussions that we had with Anderson County are really what made this future product possible. What makes this so unique is this is not only something huge for Anderson County, but it's also huge for the state of South Carolina, but it's also huge for the United States of America because this project has international ramifications that it's going to start right here in Anderson County.